Hi, Gemini. This is going to be your reading. This is for Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip and switch the roles. Pick what side of the story you're on. I've been trying to catch a gnat. I don't know if I killed it, but somebody could be trying to annoy you, distract you, make you feel uncomfortable in your own space or just where you work at your neighborhood, your environment, online, whatever. I feel like somebody could be, you know, whatever. Gnats are like monitoring spirits. Gnats, flies, all them shits are monitoring spirits. Um, Yeah, so somebody here could be being nosy all up in your fucking business. Or this is you, I don't know. Uh, cross watcher, this could be a Gemini doing this to you. So, yeah, this is for Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. What do Gemini placements need to know right now? Some of you guys could be letting the little things get to you, or somebody here could be trying to just get to you in some kind of way. Or this is something that could have happened in the past. This could be a co-worker, an ex, somebody in your neighborhood, somebody online, what, whoever, a family member, someone, that, a, a fake friend, an old friend. A stranger, you you know, you'd be surprised. So we have twin flame, mm. the one mirror souls pledged. So some of y'all could be in a twin flame connection. Okay, and I don't, you know, what's crazy. And I say that I don't believe in twin flames. I uh, I do and I don't like. I believe it. I just feel like it's become so mainstream and people become so obsessed with having twin flames that they're calling past life soulmates their twins or they're calling, you know, people who are toxic their twins, people who, who are really karmic, they think are twins because they can't leave them alone or it's on and off again and, I, and those don't be twins. So that's why it's just it's one of those things for me. It's one of those things for me where it's like, I probably wouldn't even know if I have one. It's just, maybe I, who knows, but I don't, people obsess over it, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so y'all could be done with a twin flame or somebody, they're that bitch girl. Hold on, Gemini. They don't want y'all to know this shit. Or somebody who feels like a twin to you, possibly, okay? Hold on. It could be a high-level soulmate for some of y'all. I'm telling you. I'm going to get that, bitch. Um, some of y'all could want to get your hands on someone or somebody could feel this way about you. Uh, what else? We have roller coaster, high is high, adrenaline rush. So there could be a relationship that's really up and down. Either this is you going through this, or if you are in the twin flame or soulmate connection, your person could be going through this, or you're in a, a deep connection where, you know, things are a little bit tipsy-turvy right now for whatever reason. What else? Threatened, embarrassing appearances. Yeah, somebody feels threatened. And we got tragedy, forbidden love. It came out in reverse, so we'll see. I feel like something, somebody wants something to be forbidden for you. This could even just be love in general. It doesn't have to be a twin flame. It could just be somebody that just doesn't want you to have love. They want, because forbidden love is like being like a mistress type thing, you know, having somebody on the side and shit like that. That could have been what somebody wanted for you or for your person. What's Twin Flames for Gemini placements? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune upright, my bad. Uh, Jupiter energy, Sag, Pisces energy. Some of y'all can have Sagittarius or Pisces in your chart or you're dealing with somebody that does. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Some of y'all are getting downloads in your dream state about a connection with someone or this could be incoming communication that's coming in. Somebody could be traveling to see you. Something is destined is faded, but it can be all about timing. There could be a timing factor. I feel like something is completely out of somebody's control. 
Okay, maybe somebody didn't want you and this twin flame to come together. Or for those of you who are in false twin flame dynamics, or this is your person, uh, those are ending because we do have the death card here. You can have Scorpio in your chart or your person does. What's twin flames? Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Eight of Swords in re Eight of Swords here. Yeah, Gemini, some of y'all could be single right now. A lot of y'all could be keeping to yourself sexually. For those of you who are single, you could be keeping to yourself sexually. You need to do that because you're going to have people coming in here that are insincere. They're only people coming in. They're moody. They're up and down. They're wishy-washy. Somebody could be trying to start trouble. Somebody could be trying to throw you off track. This could be false lovers, people that just want to come in and use you for sex. Or if you're a man, money. Or it could be men could get used for sex too. So it could be that too. Women get used for money too. So, you know, it can go either way. Um, page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody that's very, somebody's obsessed with their image. They're very insincere. They're jealous. They're envious. Somebody could be envious that you have a twin flame or whoever their ex is is your twin flame or whoever you're with now is your twin or whatever. Or you just, if you haven't met this person yet, they, I don't know, you have it coming in. Nine of Cups, February Pisces, February Aquarius. So this could be somebody that's trying to stop. Oh, hold on, Gemini. I'm going to get this little motherfucker. I know y'all see that bitch crying. Where you at? Come on. Get your little ass on. My bad, Gemini. Bitch, all in my damn space. I was, I was willing to hit it. I was willing to kill it with my bare hands. Anyways, like, leave me alone. Get out my, like, that's my thing. Like, get inside the plants or something. You know, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? I'm growing garlic. I'm growing freaking lemons, avocado. You know, go inside them while you're in my face. <laughs> Like, bitch, I will kill you with my bare hands. I ain't that scared, y'all. Really, it's not even about scared. It's just, I don't, I, I think they're, I think bugs are just fucking disgusting. And I don't like, I, I think they're fucking gross. My bad. I think they're fucking gross. And just get the fuck. Some shit's a low vibrational, so what the fuck? Anyways, hopefully I killed it. Um, or injured it, whatever. And you know what's crazy? These that shit. That's how I know it's some it's some bullshit. All these yellow sticky traps, bitch. Why aren't you landing on that? Why are you everywhere but the sticky traps? Why you want to be up in my face? This, this is how. That's how I know. Anyways, Knight of Cups in reverse could be someone here that's, um, somebody could be trying to say they're your twin, but they're really not. Somebody here wants you to idolize a false twin connection to prevent you from going into your real one, possibly, or to keep you stuck. For those of you who are in connections, you could be focused more on your independence, just, you know, focusing more on yourself, your individuality and things like that, which you need to maintain regardless. You know what I'm saying? Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sag energy. You can have Sag in your chart. You could be a Sag with Gemini placements. December Capricorn, December Sag here. So this could be the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a dark witch. This could be an earth sign that's trying to destiny swap with you or they're trying, yeah, Eight of Swords here. Somebody could be in a false twin flame dynamic with a uh, queen of pentacles in reverse. Someone that's an opportunist. They're a troublemaker. They're codependent. They're materialistic. They're superficial. They're ungrounded. They're insecure. I mean, the list goes on. Or this person wants you to get in connections where people put you in this queen of pentacles in reverse energy. If you get with a knight of cups in reverse energy, they're go it's going to put you in this queen of pentacles in reverse. So you need to be careful with that. Queen of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's disloyal too. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Eight of Swords. Somebody could be trying to bind your destiny. Somebody here could be trying to keep you single. Or if you're in a connection, they don't they want y'all to break up or or I don't know. 
for some of y'all jupiter and gemini here somebody's in your head okay somebody could be insecure or feeling threatened by you having a twin flame connection like i said this could be somebody's ex that just can't let go somebody's trying to cause trouble behind the scenes in some kind of way or they're in your face doing shit. i don't you know y'all know eight of swords what's the eight of swords yeah two of wands mars and aries some of you guys can have a tough decision to make regarding a connection it's between a twin and maybe a soulmate for some of y'all or this or somebody else does somebody here could be feeling somebody here could be feeling stuck in making a decision for some of y'all gemini's i feel like something you're you're focusing more on self-care with this queen of pentacles in reverse or you need to for those of you who are dating, if you're meeting people that don't want to, that don't see your value, or they want to, they're in and out, they're they're moody, they're wishy-washy, they're emotionally unavailable, they're emotionally immature, they're ghosting you or whatever, that's not, that they're going to put you in this Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy. For some of you guys, you could be in this King of, this Knight of Cups in reverse energy, feeling moody, and something could be going on with like your cycles or you know something internally right if you guys are connected to somebody maybe for some of you guys you could feel like you're giving too much to your partner you're not really getting enough back so you could be feeling a bit depleted resentful you need to speak up somebody here could be afraid of confrontation so maybe you guys don't want to speak up to your partner about what you're dissatisfied with because you're afraid of it causing some type of trouble some of y'all need to speak up some of y'all, there's a decision or you, you can have plans, but you're in your head about something. You could be feeling mentally overwhelmed or insecure about a decision. Or this is somebody else. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Yeah, some of you guys have Earth and Water in your chart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June Cancer, June Gemini. A lot of y'all gonna, a lot of y'all could need to, a lot of y'all could need to follow your heart or you're not following your heart on something. You could be ungrounded, Gemini. You could be going through a lot of changes right now. You have a lot of decisions to make. Yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Page of Cups in reverse. Do not get with people who are not on your level emotionally. They're going to put you in that Queen of Pentacles and they're going to have you in your feelings, have you stuck, have you at a stalemate, have you overthinking, have you overwhelmed, have you confused. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Y'all need to trust your intuition. Who's this Queen of Cups? Somebody here just wants to put you in your feelings. Or somebody's in their feelings about you. Queen of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Mercury in Virgo. This could be, yeah, strength in reverse. This could be something about your past life, something on your generational line as well. Somebody could be going through like a divorce. To, yeah, somebody could be moving out for a wands in reverse. Some, somebody here could be biracial or mixed. Because in this Ten of Pentacles, this guy is Caucasian, this woman is black. And they have this little mixed baby. Some of y'all can have mixed kids. Okay, or you could be in a biracial connection. Or somebody here could be mixed. The Queen of Pentacles is melanated. The Queen of Cups is more Caucasian. So some of y'all could be bi biracial or your person. Or there's somebody, there could be their mother or something like that. What's this Knight of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, Ten of Cups in reverse, Mars in Pisces. So this could be a broken home. Somebody could be staying in something just for the image. Somebody here is not following their heart on something. Somebody could be staying with somebody just for the image, just because there is kids. 
okay it's like well you know our my parents did it or you know we've been together this long already so you know but they're not loyal with that queen of pentacles in reverse or they're i don't know something insincere about somebody this could be a broken home this could be someone that you have kids with maybe they have kids with somebody else for some of you this could be family member this could be a big family secret with this ten of cups in reverse Uh, hermit in reverse someone could be really scared they're petrified somebody here could also be playing victim to some shit that they created I don't know somebody trying to destiny swap or fuck with your inheritance in some kind of way because you could be meant to inherit some type of destined connection ten of pentacles and the ten of cups but if you guys can, if you guys, for those of you who are single, if you guys continue to date people who who are in reverse and put therefore put your energy in reverse, you're not gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be in the stuck in the cycle. For those of you who are in connections and you know you're not really happy, but it's like, well, you know, I feel stable here, but you're overextending yourself in some kind of way, whether financially, emotionally. You're the more mature one. You're the you're picking up this person's slack. You're being this person's mother instead of their partner type shit. You're not. You're gonna. It's, it's not gonna work. After some point, it's just not gonna work. Hermit in reverse. You can. You or somebody can have Virgo in your chart. What's the Hermit in reverse? Yeah, Knight of Wands. Somebody go who ghosts you a lot. Somebody that's moody. They're in and out. They. Somebody here could have a lot of one night stands. Yeah, somebody could be in the public. Yeah, somebody has a lot of lovers. Gemini energy with the lovers, Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo. Somebody could want to come out of Hermit mode. If you haven't been speaking to this person, maybe they want to talk to you. Sag, Scorpio energy, November Sag, November Scorpio. But I feel like somebody could just want to come in just for sex. And you know that. You see that. Yeah, this person is non-committal. King of Pentacles in reverse. They're money. They can even be connected to that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They could be connected to a baby mother of theirs or a girlfriend if they don't have kids or a boyfriend, whoever, that they both cheat on each other. <laughs> you could be this person's other baby mother for some of you or baby father. Flip and switch it. Some y'all could be into same sex, but I feel like you know, you very, with this queen of swords, you're very discerning. You're not stupid. Or this could be somebody's ex who wants attention, who's trying to sleep with your person if you're in a relationship with this person. For some of you guys, you and your person could be going through something financially. Okay. But yeah, king of pen, and this person could have something, so you need to be careful. So I don't know if they with that that King of Pentacles is with that Queen of Pentacles and they both in reverse. So either that's some type of different aspects of yourself regarding like your finances and your stability. Thank you, baby. Or that's a couple. Not a wand. There's no longevity with somebody. Yeah, King of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. January Capricorn, January Aquarius. I feel like somebody here is very aloof with you. They can want to talk to you, but this person is really aloof. There's, you know, this person could be trying to take something from you and they could need to do this through sex or being in your energy or I don't know, starting an argument with you. Somebody's really nasty. Somebody could be losing something of value for pentacles in reverse. Or maybe somebody wants to open up and say something to you. But this person, they come in, they're really aloof. They're flighty. They could be hot-tempered. They're cold. What's this king of swords? Yeah, queen of wands in reverse. Man or woman. Yeah, a lot of shape-shifting. Aries, Leo, Sag. Pisces, energy, March, Pisces, March, Aries, man or woman. Yeah, this person is very hot-headed. Somebody here could even be abusive. 
physically, mentally, or they're dealing with somebody that's like that. There's three queens here. So if this is a man, they're really feminine. But they're, something with their emotion, something with their emotions is not solid, is not grounded. Their energy, somebody here could be really promiscuous, man or woman. They could be recovering from something. Some y'all are recovering from your finances, or your finances will recover if you were worried about that. But you may have to take action, get more uh, stable, get more disciplined, get more organized and structured with your money or with or how you want to go about recovering your finances. You may have to get more serious with something. Who's this Queen of Wands in reverse? Spell work. The Queen of Wands in reverse is a dark witch. So is the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the devil. Capricorn energy. Heavy Cap uh, December Capricorn is here. December Capricorn and January Capricorn. Man or woman. Yeah, something is backfiring. Seven of Wands in reverse, or something is being unblocked for you. You could be receiving something. You could be receiving some type of help. Or somebody wants your help, or somebody needs some type of help financially or energetically. The devil. Somebody is karmic. Somebody's with a karmic. Somebody thinks they're with a twin flame. They're with a karmic. They could have been with this person for a long time. You throw the ball at mommy. Maybe it's a very off and on connection. It's very, you know, people mistake karmic connections as twin flames because they're hard to break away from. It's, it involves a lot of sex. It involves, it's, it's very, it's very, it's, it's a very strong attachment. Somebody here is with a karmic. Somebody is just very cold. Something's all about sex and money and image. Both of these people are obsessed with their image. Somebody here can have sex addictions. They can be obsessed with you or, or something like that as well. So, yeah, some y'all, you or somebody can have Capricorn in their chart. You could be a Capricorn with Gemini placements. This karma could be obsessed with you, Gemini. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Somebody is worried now. Mars in Gemini. Somebody could be losing a lot of money. Somebody feels guilty. They feel remorseful for whatever the whatever they did. Maybe somebody chose wrong. Now they're stuck with somebody. What's this devil? Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. Moon and Taurus. A lot of codependency. Somebody here is trying to attach some type of entity onto you, possibly through sex. So you need to be... For those of you... I'm getting heavy. For those of you who are single, you need to... Do not be don't, do not be giving open yourself to people that are not committing to you, who are not investing in you, who are breadcrumbing you. Somebody's with a karmic, or somebody is trying to, or you're going to keep dealing with people, dating, dealing with people that are going to keep you in karmic energy. You're going to be that queen of pentacles, queen of wands in reverse. Somebody's extremely competitive. They want you to kind of be like them. Or this man wants you to be like these karmic women that they deal with or a particular person. <laughs> Hold on. You want your backpack on? Don't worry. You go to school tomorrow. It's the weekend, but you, tomorrow you go back to school, okay? <clears throat> Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody doesn't want you to receive something. Or they want to take something from you. I feel like it's something to do with your sexual energy. Has something is extremely codependent. So if something is not, this is a false twin. Somebody's with a false twin. Are they trying to say you are? I feel like somebody is in regret. They feel guilt. Somebody always got their hand out. Somebody's really codependent. They're materialistic. Probably spend beyond their means. Like I said, obsessed with their image. Both of these people, if it's a couple or people that are living together, somebody here could be in a home dynamic. There could be a, that 10 of cups is like domestic abuse, domestic violence. The four of wands in reverse is a lack of community, a lack of harmony within a home or community or workplace or dynamic in a, in a home or something for some of y'all. 
Somebody could be up with me. Somebody can have to make a big purchase regarding a home. But I feel like somebody's with a karmic. Or something is something is becoming very karmic. What's roller coaster? High is high, adrenaline rush. So yeah, somebody wants you to be attached to people sexually or romantically who break from you. Whether this is somebody that you're in a relationship, somebody here is becoming single. Some of y'all are overextending yourselves to somebody and it's causing you to be really bitchy, really moody. You may have a lot on your plate. If you're a woman, you could be with a man and you have to treat them like you're their mother. That's that's or you overextend your some somebody's overextending themselves. Or you could be a man and you're overextending yourself. But somebody is overextending themselves and it's causing some and there is out of codependency. Or they, like I said, they want you to date these people, have sex with these people, so you don't meet your twin flame. Or so the, or for those of you who are in relationships, they could be trying to project negative energy onto your connection some way, somehow. So you or your person feel like they're overextending themselves. So you or your person feel like something is too much. And for some of y'all, y'all are in codependent relationships or marriages that are not good for you. Plain and simple. You'll know which one you are. Roller coaster for Gemini. Something is really transactional with the Six of Pentacles in reverse also. Somebody here could be paying for sex or somebody here gets money for sex. The King of Pentacles in reverse is like a pimp. They pay for sex. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse in re the Queen of Pentacles in reverse receives money for sex. So somebody here, I don't know if that bitch is not on the plan in my in my face. They, um somebody here could be um somebody here could be trying to have sex with somebody or keep something going because they want to receive money or something like that somebody's trying to keep some tie so yeah four of pentacles somebody's losing a lot of money they try yeah i'm telling you somebody's trying to scheme because they need to upkeep their image high priestess in reverse three of swords somebody some there's a secret that somebody found out about somebody how they're making their money somebody here could have been living a double life yeah there's a there's a breakup that's coming some of y'all could be finding out that somebody was cheating on you or your person is somebody here needs to to keep you and somebody apart or to keep you out of harmony with yourself possibly or to, i don't know there could be a breakup but somebody's trying to they need to keep they need to look like they're just nine of pentacles and they're not <laughs> The Hierophant, Taurus energy. You or somebody can have Taurus in their chart. You could be on the cusp. Okay, you could be a Taurus for Gemini placements. But what's the roller coaster? Two of Cups in reverse. Venus and Cancer. A relationship, a marriage, or whatever. That's up and down, up and down, off and on. One minute somebody's all over somebody. The next minute they pushing them away or want to deal with other people. Something is toxic, just period. Hair font, four swords. Somebody here, somebody here could be hospitalized. Jupiter and Libra with this four swords. Somebody here needs to get hospitalized here. Okay, the death card, the world. There's an there's some type of inevitable ending or change. Four swords. Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody could be getting bad news from an institution. Somebody's emotions are all fucked up. That's This is crazy. Yikes. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be losing. Somebody could be unemployed. Somebody could be losing their job. Something could be happening. There could be workplace harassment or somebody could be trying to harass you at work. Somebody could also be trying to steal your ideas for business. So somebody could, could be trying to take credit for your work or they don't want to give you credit for something. Somebody's really emotionally immature. They're still asleep. They're unawakened. Somebody here could even be part of a cult or they have these beliefs that are keeping them asleep. Somebody's really immature with this page of cups in reverse. For some of you guys, this person could have gone through something as a child and they don't, they're not healing from it. It's, it's fucking with their emotions. It's having them sleep around. It's having them harass you or your person. This could be your somebody you have kids with. This could be an ex of yours. This could be an old friend. This could be your person's ex, whoever. Somebody that knows, somebody that you know for some of y'all. This could be a coworker who's jealous. 
There could be hostility in the workplace here. A lot of uh, workplace gossip, politics. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody has PTSD from something. Moon and Sagittarius. Somebody has PTSD from something that they went through as a child. Maybe something sexual for some of you, trigger warning. Or maybe somebody... Somebody is somebody is going through some type of injury. I, I I'm getting. I don't know. Somebody here. Somebody's not learning a lesson. The nine of wands in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's not learning from their past mistakes. Yeah, somebody can have PTSD from something though. Their moods could be all fucked up. Nine of wands in reverse. Four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Capricorn energy. Somebody could be losing a lot of money, losing their job. Somebody's innocence was taken from them at a really young age. I don't know if somebody's family could have grew up really religious or it, it, or somebody here could have, could have a military background or something like that. Somebody's trying to take something from somebody, whether it's financially, something that's part of somebody's destiny, um, their innocence. Somebody here could be trying to get you to go from this Queen of Cups upright to this Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody that's just emotionally unavailable, immature, cold, not able to follow your heart, moody, detached, things like that. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. I'm telling you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Vir Virgo energy. This could be a jealous ass friend. September Virgo, September Libra. Or somebody here needs to, I mean, the King and Queen of Swords. That could be a couple. People who are divorced or people that are, they've been, this could be a common law relationship. Like they were together for a long time, but they're not legally married. Or this could just be a, a, a you know, it could have been a, a even shorter term relationship, but somebody could need to say something to you or speak up, or they want you to say something to them. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, somebody here is miserable. Somebody's faking their happiness in a the connection there or in a home dynamic. They're miserable. You see right through something. Two of Cups in the rest. The hangman. Somebody, Pisces here. Somebody's surrendering a connection, or they, or somebody is stuck. Yeah, page of pentacles in reverse, page of swords in reverse, five of swords here, three of cups. I feel you letting somebody argue with themselves. You letting somebody compete with themselves. You're not competing with somebody. Somebody's plan to get you to argue or to get you to look like a fool or to get you to look like you're crazy is not working. You're not paying this person no mind. A lot of y'all are living your life. You're having fun or you need to. Somebody here could have their eye on somebody's friend. Somebody here is really immature, really petty. Somebody will really stoop that low. I don't know. Somebody's like, somebody has a problem. <laughs> Page of Pentacles in reverse is bad news. Page of Swords in reverse, more bad news. This is like somebody being really sarcastic. Some of y'all have a friend who don't really like, or you have a group of friends that don't really fuck with you. And they may be even in cahoots with whoever's trying to do this towards you. They could be paying this person, turning people against you, co-workers, friends, family, people in your neighborhood, whoever. But I, whatever this, somebody here could be, this could be an unworkable plan. Somebody is scatterbrained, they're confused. Somebody here could be trying to cause miscommunication or they're misinterpreting everything you say on purpose. Somebody's like obsessed. The hangman, you can have Pisces in your chart or somebody does. What's the hangman? Yeah, six of cups, somebody from your past. You know you know this person in some kind of way. Scorpio sun energy, magician in reverse, Virgo, Gemini energy. Yeah. Somebody could have been doing some black magic to spy in to see what you have coming in to delay it. Six of swords in reverse, the knight of pentacles in reverse. It could be an offer. It could be your money. It could be anything. Somebody's been evil lying shit. Six of Cups. Yeah, Page of Wands. So something to do with kids as well for some of y'all. Pray over your kids. 
the fool in reverse, Aquarius, Aries energy, because people are sick. Page of Wands. Somebody could be trying to flirt with you. People from your past could be still hung up on you. They could be trying to, you know, get back in your energy. That's all part of the, the spell work to keep you stuck in the past too. Or to get or to get you to backtrack into past behaviors and, sh and stuff like that. Or your person if you're with somebody. And if not, then it's just about you backtracking with old people. Somebody could be masturbating to you as well, looking at old pictures of you. This is somebody that you broke up with or you haven't been with for a while or your person. Page of Wands. Ten of Cups in reverse. You could, you could be seeing ten, ten on the clocks. Ten of Pentacles, ten of Cups. Mars in Pisces. So somebody here, this could be somebody that you have a child with. Ten of Cups in reverse. Who's obsessed with you. They masturbate to you when they're having sex with this karmic bitch that they live with. Or in a relationship with or whatever these... Bitches are that they lay up with. They think of you. If you if you've been if your sexual energy's been really out of hand lately, it's people pulling on it from your past. It could be a particular person. This could be a broken home. Somebody got some issues. Something to definitely do with some y'all could work with kids. Okay. What's this ten of cups in reverse? Somebody, what's this ten of cups in reverse? Something is definitely over. Somebody could, somebody could be trying to bring trouble your way, Gemini. You see something a mile away. Uh, ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, the moon in reverse. Pisces, Cancer energy. Yeah, somebody's under some type of illusion. Cancer, Charity, somebody could be a police officer. Or somebody could be trying to, they could be trying to figure out where you're at. Somebody here could be getting a, D, D, a DUI for drinking and driving or being under some type of influence for driving. Somebody could be driving by your house. Somebody's up, somebody could be watching you from fake pages. The moon in reverse could be self-deception. Somebody here is under some type of illusion in this fake-ass family dynamic with whoever they grew up with, whoever they have a child with, or this is you. There could be a friend here that, or friends that don't really fuck with you, family that don't really fuck with you. The moon in reverse. Yeah, the empress, Taurus, Libra energy. You can have Taurus or Libra on your chart. Heavy Taurus here. Some of y'all could be single parents. Or there could be something about a mother. This could be somebody's mother. Their, like I said, their other baby mother or their actual mother, or this could be your mother, or an aunt, an older sister, a sibling, something, or another woman for some of y'all. Empress, who's that? Who's this Empress? The Ace of Cups in reverse. Oh. So there could be an unwanted or unexpected pregnancy. Some of y'all could be feeling moody and things because you could be pregnant. Or this could be something that's happening in the future. Somebody could be pregnant. They don't know who the father is for some of y'all. What's this Queen of Swords here? The Seven of Pentacles. Saturn and Taurus. Somebody's evaluating something, looking at something. Somebody could be pregnant. Yeah. Nah, or somebody here is, yeah, somebody could be moody because they are. Come, baby. Hold on, Gemini. Yeah, somebody could be, somebody could be pregnant, but they could be considering getting an abortion. Maybe they don't want this, but it could be unwanted. Maybe they don't know who the father is. That that could be it too. Well, I don't know if somebody lost a pregnancy, my condolences. Some y'all could have suffered from miscarriages or uh, maybe somebody got one of these people pregnant. Somebody's contemplating or second guessing a pregnancy possibly for somebody, for some of y'all. What's threatened, embarrassed, appearances? Six of Swords in reverse. So this person could be pretend. Somebody here could have. Somebody could have got pregnant by somebody's friend or somebody in their family or or somebody that they considered family or somebody else. 
this could be a situation where these people cheat on each other and somebody end up getting somebody else pregnant or getting pregnant by somebody else. You could be seeing 666. I feel like you're protected from all of this. I don't know why this is even six of swords in reverse. Could be somebody returning or somebody could be trying to bring trouble your way because they feel embarrassed. What's this threat in here? Yeah, two of pentacles, two of pentacles, two of cups, two of wands. You could be seeing two, two, two on the clock. Jupiter and Capricorn. And what's the six of swords in reverse? Yeah, nine of swords. May Taurus, May Gemini energy. I don't know, somebody's trying to physically do something to you, Gemini, because they feel embarrassed with that. I mean, what does nobody, you didn't force this person to get into any of this. <laughs> somebody went backwards. They did, somebody did something impulsive. Now they look like a fucking clown. Not a swords. The sun in reverse, yeah. Somebody, somebody was overly optimistic about something and they failed. They're unenthused, they're depressed. They're up. Somebody's upset. Somebody could be trying to come in to you with some kind of communication and, and say something to you to upset you, to throw your emotions out of balance. Sun in reverse. Somebody could be getting bad news or I don't know. Sun in reverse. The strength in reverse. Somebody here could be sick. They could be weak. Leo, heavy Leo energy. This person could be returning back to you, but they're in their ego. Nine of Cups, they're, they're coming in for selfish reasons. I don't know if they want to trap. I don't know if they're trying to get you pregnant or get pregnant by you for some of y'all or, or your person or whatever. Or they, or, and for those of you who can't have kids, you don't want kids, it's not about kids. And this is, you know, then this is something that somebody could be trying to trigger your inner child. Somebody here could be depressed, they feel weak, they feel inadequate, or they wanted you to feel this way. Yeah, somebody here overindulged. They may they could be sick, they can have something, they could have gotten somebody pregnant, got pregnant, whatever. Strength somebody's heavy in their ego though, with the strength and the the sun in reverse. Strength somebody here could have taken your vulnerability and your kindness for weakness. Strength in reverse. Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sag. So Gemini, this person is, yeah, temperance in reverse, seven of wands in reverse, something backfired or something is. You know, this person is just doing a whole bunch of reckless stuff. They're miserable. They could be trying to communicate with you. They, this person, you know, expect communication from somebody within eight days or, or even sooner for some of y'all. Or this person could be contemplating if they want to reach out to you. This person wants to disturb your peace because they feel like a clown. Make that make sense. They want to, This could be a karmic twin or a karmic soulmate of yours. Maybe at one point you thought they were your twin. You don't have no more love for this person. For some of you guys, you could be looking at something more closely or somebody's adding up the time like, wait a minute. I know I didn't get you pregnant around that time. Or I know whatever, whatever. Come, let me take it out. Yeah, somebody's unhappy in some type of home. They want to come and disturb your peace. Somebody could be... Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The worst is yet to happen. Somebody's going to be so burdened. Somebody could be experiencing death. There's death that's surrounding someone for something that they did. Now this person could want to turn over a new leaf. They could want to confess something to you now to avoid a disaster. It's too late. <laughs> Somebody, no, it's too late. Eight of Wands. The King of Wands. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Cancer here, July, Cancer, July, Leo. Yeah, this person is selfish, they're arrogant, they overindulge, all they care about is themselves. 
This person could be oh, this person could even be bisexual. They could be on a down low. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, four of cups. And they want you to hear. They want you to hear what they have to say. Possibly they, four of cups in reverse. Moon and Cancer. You could be seeing four, 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 four of swords, four of cups, four of Pentacles, four of cups in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to be rejected. Eight of Pentacles. They can want to. They, 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 this person trying to figure out how to work something out with you. But I feel like it's for selfish reasons. It's to either hiding your energy to. Maybe they notice that when they're nice to you or when they're around you, they're protected spiritually. So, yeah, I would be careful. You could be seeing eight, 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 eight of wands, eight of pentacles, eight of swords. When something is up for them, something is down for you. When something is up for you, something is down for them. So, eight, eight, eight is very karmic. What's Virgo energy? Eight of pentacles. Yeah, Eight of Cups. I feel like y'all are working on yourselves. Or this is what somebody is doing. Somebody could be trying to balance out their finances, get their selves together. Maybe they want to be more mature or they want to be a better person, parent, leader, friend, uh, Saturn and Pisces. But somebody, maybe they want, they, somebody feels like a clown. They feel dumb. <laughs> they could have fucking been nasty to you and... For somebody that sit there and made them, uh, embarrass them for like the 10th time already. Cheated on them again. Used them again. Abused them again. Fucked their friend again. Probably even got pregnant by the, probably walked home and walked in and seen something. Eight of Cups. A big, yeah, three of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be walking out on a job. Okay. Mars and Capricorn. Somebody here could be walking, like, just going to lunch and not clocking back in. This person, that's what I'm saying, is a lack of cooperation. They want you to leave the past in the past, but they haven't, they're carrying, they have a lot of baggage. There's no, this person could be bipolar, something could be wrong with their mood, something could be going on legally. Somebody here could be a scammer, or somebody's a scam artist. They're just gonna act like they wanna help you, or act like they wanna be better, and they're not. Somebody here could be playing both sides. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy. Somebody here just wants to have sex. They want to. There's a, a a contract that's broken between you and somebody, and they just want to come and re-energize that. No, Ace of Swords in reverse. No, you're no Gemini. They're gonna put you in this Three of Swords in this Three of Swords energy. They're gonna have to recover again. No, you're right now. You're in the Star energy. Your energy is really pure. It's really healing. Yes, I'm saying Five of Wands, conflict, drama. Somebody wants to bring this to you. Somebody here could have gossiped about you, falsely said things about you. They could have, you know, no, maybe they didn't even take up for you or they let people gossip and attack you physically, spiritually. They could have tried to ruin your reputation. No, no, people are competing with you. What's this lovers, fake ass friends, family even for some of y'all, what's the lovers? Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody that's unreliable. They, they, they say things they don't mean. There's somebody is selfish. Somebody's in denial about who they are or who they're with, or they want you to be in denial. Some of y'all may have to get a restraining order on somebody. Somebody could be having an emotional outburst. Somebody could have to go to court for something. Excuse me. Somebody's just greedy. They want to use your energy. They want to they wanna have you, have whoever they live with, have other people, and break from you. If y'all got kids with, for some of y'all, if y'all have kids with this person, this person barely help you out with your kids, for some of y'all. But they want to feed off your energy to impress, I guess, other women, other men. It's like, what? That's crazy. That's like really, in, like, that's, be, that's more than, that's like sick. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person could even be a deadbeat. Somebody, again, they're disloyal. They're unreliable. They're in they they just they they break promises all the time. They're not a good person. Why is it not a pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the death card. Scorpio energy. Somebody is trying to avoid the inevitable. This person, no, this person is trying to stop or slow down some type of death that's surrounding them. It's inevitable. 
the emperor. This could be a father figure of some kind. I don't I don't think it's a twin. Or they're trying to or they're trying to make you think they're your twin. Or they're trying to again confuse. There's a contract between you, a spiritual contract that's over between you and this person. And this no. I mean, looking is a one, two, three, four, seven, eight. Baby, it's three candles. <laughs> one, two, three. Let's get some tea. Some, something is over, though. Scissors. Disappointment in some affair. Yeah, somebody, all they do is disappoint. It's like, all they do is disappoint. It's like somebody wants to put an end to your peace, to your happiness. Scissors. You you need to cut this person out. This is what they're doing or this is what you already did. You may need to do a, a core cutting for some of y'all. But yeah, somebody, all they're going to do is disappoint you over and over again. Disappoint your kids for some of you. Okay. If you have kids with this person. Or, there, or maybe you've experienced disappointment growing up as a child. For those of you who don't have kids, because not everybody has kids. Not everybody wants kids, right? That's okay. For those of you who don't have kids or it's not about kids, maybe you were disappointed a lot growing up and this person purposely does things to make you relive. It's like somebody wants you to relive things that you went through in the past, whether through childhood or just even as adulthood. They want you to relive certain things in old relationships you've been through, whatever. They want you to relive shit. They want you to constantly be disappointed. Somebody is sick. And the only person they're hurting and embarrassing is themselves. Somebody's a clown. And they're being made to see, they're being made, they're being exposed as the clown that they are. The sun and the moon in reverse. Somebody don't know who the hell they are at all. It's really, and it's, it's really scary. Somebody's, somebody could have had a parent that whose love was or support was very conditional. This could have been this person's mother. Somebody can have, this could be a man with mommy issues. Butterfly, a change for the better. Something is changing. Whether you're initiating these changes or these changes are happening to you in your life. Shield, you need to defend yourself. Some of y'all will need to spiritually defend yourself or physically. Bread, a period of prosperity and abundance. Yeah, they know you got that coming in. People can sense things. So somebody here could be doing black magic to see. And this could be a friend of yours, a friend, a co-worker. Somebody could be looking in to see what you got coming in so they can delay it or stop it or put an end to it. December. So somebody could be born in December. This could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Somebody's in a relationship with somebody that they don't even get along with and they're mad at you. Pin, new job or career. Some of you guys are getting a new job. Some of you guys were at a job. They weren't, they weren't, you weren't getting paid enough. You were overextending yourself. You couldn't get your time off. Nobody wanted to take your shift. If you want to go on vacation, they made it hard for you. Some of y'all are getting a new job, going into a new department, or you're leaving a company. For those of you who some of y'all could be going from entrepreneurs back to back to working for companies for some of you or you're going from working for companies into entrepreneurship i psychic ability trust your intuition yeah trust your intuition gemini the only time you the only time you suffer is when you don't trust your intuition trust your intuition somebody could be coming in to say something to you somebody could be wanting to make an appearance Maybe they want to change or maybe they maybe something happened and they are changing. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody is lazy. They want to take shortcuts, though. So they just want to completely start over and not acknowledge or take accountability for what they did and said to you or about you or what they knew and didn't tell you. Friend, family member, co-worker, ex, whoever. A grown ass child. This is a grown child, whoever. Uh, fan, romance, celebration, and party. Some of you guys are going to be meeting somebody or you have romance coming in. And pineapple, reconciliation. Okay, hold on. Crown, honor, and respect will come to you. I feel like... Uh, hold on, Gemini. This girl. Baby, you ate... Oh, you have to go to the supermarket.
My mom needs to make you popcorn so you while you watch your show. <laughs> Ciao. We're gonna have to go to the supermarket. Um, hold on, Gemini. Um, you could be reconciling with somebody, or somebody wants to reconcile with you. They want you to kind of just let them. Somebody here, but see, I don't like that Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's somebody that wants to take shortcuts. I feel like somebody. Nine of Pentacles finishes what they start. I just feel like somebody can't finish what they started with you. There will be no reconciliation, to be honest. And if somebody was trying to ruin your reputation, trying to say things about you, honor and respect will come to you. People will see who's who and what's who's who and what's what. Oh, there it goes. But Gemini, this was your reading. Sorry for the inter in interruptions and distractions and the, the mess. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of... There could be a lot of uh, things that you've had to overcome, especially people, especially for a lot of you guys, you were in connections with people that just really set you back. And you need to be careful with either going back to people who just want to have sex with you, just use you, money, sex, or just mess with your time. They just want to get an ego boost from you, whatever it is, you need to be careful of it. Or for those of you who are already in relationships, you're already in marriages, and you know you want to be with this person and stay with this person, you need to be careful of reverting back to old toxic behaviors and methods of doing things that are really abusive and toxic because, you know, it can ruin that. And for those of you who are not happy with who you're with, you need to follow your heart. Okay, when I was in a relation, when I was with a, when I was in a karmic relationship with like a soulmate, I remember... I had a hard time breaking up with him. Like, it was so weird. And he was Haitian. No offense to my Haitians. But his mother told me she did voodoo on us so we wouldn't break up. She told me that to my face when I went to their house. And that was the last time I ate food from them. Um, I was like 24. We were together for two years. From when I was 23 to when I was 25, I believe, if I remember correctly. But um, that's when I first learned about the chakras. That was before I, Tarot came in my late 20s when I was a trainer at Equinox, right before I was leave, close to when I was leaving that place. But um, this is when I first, I was working at a yoga studio. But anyways, I, we could not get along for the life of us. It was very toxic. What we did was fight and have sex. That's the only time we got along when we were having sex. If we went a week without arguing, if, hold on. If we went a week without arguing, Gemini, that was like a, that was like a that was like an accomplishment but anyways i say that to say what helped me break up with him was focusing on hobbies and focusing on getting healthy and more and being more independent and doing things i enjoy so for those of you who are having a hard time breaking up with somebody divorcing somebody focus on hobbies focus on things you like i spent a lot of time alone discovering myself discovering what i liked and that helped me that because a lot because that relationship was just based off of codependency really to be honest now that I think about it you know we were I don't he didn't really he undervalued me and a lot of y'all could have been with people who undervalued you guys who didn't see your worth they didn't see your value because they couldn't see the you know they took your kindness for weakness anybody that takes kindness for weakness does not value themselves anybody that says oh this person is nice to me man or woman oh let me oh okay how can i plot and scheme is somebody that does not love themselves there's somebody that doesn't love themselves those are those are people that hate themselves <laughs> those are people that hate themselves so i don't know if somebody here is used to you overextending yourselves for them maybe in the past when y'all you could have got some y'all could these are people that you was in love with when you were fucking teenagers or when you were really young and they're trying to come back now saying they're your twin flame i had somebody in my instagram dms somebody that he's a capricorn too it took me forever to get over he's like oh you're my twin flame and i'm just like i do not i'm not attracted to you that that old Teresa who was naive who was 19 or 20 when she met you and who was who who thought she fell in love or whatever maybe I was I don't I'm not I don't even find him attractive we're into the same things we're both into gardening and things like that but I don't want to I don't want to be with him <laughs> 
I don't want to be with nobody from my past. Not my baby daddy, not no exes, nobody. I don't want to be with nobody from my past. I'm perfectly capable and willing to move on. Even if I do have love for people, even if I still find them attractive, I don't want to be, I don't want to be with them. I don't want to invest in them. No. Mm -mm. I'm at the point where I can acknowledge. And this is where people get confused. They think that, okay, well, if I still find them sexually attractive, then that must mean we have to be together or must mean something. It's like, no. You can still find somebody attractive and know that they're not good for you. That doesn't mean nothing. You can always love somebody from a distance, though. That doesn't mean anything. People gotta, you know, people don't even give themselves real time to mourn, and some things take longer. You gotta let those feelings and those things dissipate on their own. Some people just is like they don't even give themselves time to fully grieve. They just run back. Well, you know, we still the, the attraction is still there, so it must mean something. Maybe we're not meant to break up. And knowing that, it's like, give yourself some time. Give yourself some damn time. People don't even give themselves time to stay, to not have sex with a person. They off and on, those off and on connections where y'all break, break up, make up, y'all have a good weekend of sex or whatever y'all doing, drinking, smoking, having fun, then y'all back together, then y'all fighting like cats and dogs that Monday. It's just, it's crazy. <laughs> Who wants to be, that's, that's not, that's like very karmic. Some of you guys are also, you coming out of this, this with that devil to this lovers here, you, you've mastered some type of shadow aspect of yourself. You've learned to integrate both parts of yourself and you're a Gemini. So voila, it's very, you know, it's a little easier for us to do that when we're really committed and focused and some, something is changing for you. So they, somebody will not be finishing what they started with you. Nobody that's karmic and toxic will be finishing anything that they started with you. Trust your, you have psychic abilities with this eye here. Trust your intuition. You're this queen of cups. Some of you guys have a family, a woman who are really psychic, but you could be the first in your family to really hone in and tap into it. For my men, you could be really psychic too. Especially for my uh, Gemini men who have water in their chart. Okay, you could be really psychic. It's not just tailored to women. But yeah, so for those of you who are having a, and for those of you who are with people that y'all don't want to break up or divorce, but you know, you know, and people have to remember just because you're with somebody, that doesn't mean their spiritual journey stops. So they can be going through stuff and they're being moody or they're being weird. Maybe, you know, give yourself some space. Maybe the space is what's needed. Maybe just focus on your hobbies and, you know, have, you know, build a life outside of your connections for the time being. You know, that always help. you know, it's going to help you to either break free or it's going to help you to be more, you know, more approach the situation, more healthy. Either way you win. So, you know, but this is your reading, Gemini. Like, comment, and subscribe. What's this death card? Somebody's trying to avoid some type of inevitable ending. What's the death card real quick? Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some, I don't know, this could even be death magic that's going back on somebody. They like, how the fuck? You the last one standing. Yeah, there's going to be no second chance. Something's over. You know, something is over. You're healing. Yeah, this person is nothing but drama and conflict. You're turning your back to the drama, the conflict, the gossip, and the fake-ass friends, fake-ass family, fake-ass people that you got kids with for some of y'all, fake-ass co-workers, fake-ass neighbor, whoever, fake-ass kids. You know, I don't know. But page of pentacles, somebody's getting bad news. There could be a passing of something or something. There, something is just ending. Even if you do, if you reconcile with this person, you could be open to hearing what they have to say. If y'all got kids, somebody here don't take rejection well. Maybe you want to hear what they have to say. And I think that's going to be bad news because it's like you won't get back with this person. But maybe you'll be, I'm, I'm not going to, because I, I don't, you know, if this person had any type of, if they participated in this gossip and attacking you in any kind of way, whether it was, or if they undervalued you and they didn't help you with your kids, or if y'all have kids for some of you, or if they stolen from you, or if they cheated or whatever, I would never be friends with nobody. I wouldn't extend the friendship, but 
and I wouldn't even know if I would want that person around my kid if we have kids. And if you don't have kids, can you ever trust this person? You may have to ask yourself that. Are you going to always have to be on guard with this person? Can you ever really forgive them? Can you let bygones be bygones? You know, what are your standards? What are your morals? What are your values? Don't be tempted to lower your standards for some type of illusion. If you, For those of you who are single, if you got to stay single a little longer, then do that. But don't don't be tempted because y'all, you know, y'all feeling a little horny because I get it. Don't be tempted because you feel a little horny, you're a little bored. You know, Gemini's get in trouble when they're bored. For those of you who are in relationships and you feel bored, don't be tempted to start drama anywhere in your relationship or with other people. Go find something to do. A bored Gemini is not a good, a bored Gemini is hell. So <laughs> we just get into unnecessary relationships, situations out of boredom that we don't need to be in. But that could be whoever you're dealing with. But um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like something, there's an unworkable plan. Somebody's just so arrogant, they got sloppy with something. Something is not going to work. Somebody's going to be getting bad news. Somebody feels, oh, they, oh, this could be this person getting bad news about something or someone. And they're going to feel like a clown, especially if they try to sit there and hurt you for no reason. Some of y'all didn't do anything to this person or to these people. Friend, family, ex, baby daddy, baby mother. Sister, cousin, brother, you didn't do shit to you didn't do shit to this person. Maybe you just didn't want to be with them romantically because you knew they was a whore. Maybe you knew that, you know, if this is a friend, you knew they was very jealous, or you knew something was just off, and maybe you put distance. Somebody's health could be declining rapidly as well. If they were overindulging, somebody here could be sleeping. There could be a man that's confused about their sexuality or who's sleeping with men on the down low. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if they're trying to blame you or accuse you of something, but you no, know, that's them and whatever other things they got going on. But this is your reading, Gemini. Like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for the interruptions again, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.